Welcome back to High Stakes. Today, we will be discussing the following NCAF matches that is happening on Thursday, October 12, 2023. We will be providing our team, total and prop picks for the day. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. If you want access to our premium picks, you can check out our Patreon page. You can find the link to our Patreon page in the description and comment section below. Tulane vs Memphis I'm leaning towards backing the Tigers this week due to their solid performance in battle-tested games. I believe Tulane's success is somewhat inflated by a relatively easy schedule. Additionally, supporting a 4-1 SU team playing at home, coming off a bye week, seeking revenge, and catching points is a favorable position. This scenario, especially when a straight-up win is a realistic possibility with just a three-point underdog status, is a spot I prefer to be in. While there's a concern about Memphis potentially facing defensive challenges, I'm still willing to take my chances. The Memphis program has consistently scored at least 24 points at home since week one of the 2019 season. Even if their defensive performance falters, I find comfort in relying on a team with such offensive consistency. There's also the chance that Tulane's defense may struggle to match up. It's hard to imagine the Tigers suffering a blowout loss by double digits. Even with a slow start, Hennigan and the team have the capability to overcome it. Therefore, if the Tigers are looking at a single-digit loss or better, I'm eager to take advantage of the points offered with the home team. The potential may be there for this to be a defensive-minded 24-21 battle for first place, but there are just too many concerns on both defenses to think that's how this game plays out more often than not. Memphis is still giving up nearly 450 yards per game, and Pratt is just as capable of torching the opposing defense in this spot. Tulane's off that by week as well, so two weeks to prepare for a Tigers defense that one could argue has been extremely lucky slash fortunate in high leverage spots, third and fourth down, is a good spot to bet on points coming quite often. Tulane's defense has warning signs as well, with that soft schedule and horrible red zone defense, if Memphis marches up and down the field on them from the outset, the Green Wave offense will have no choice but to search for splash plays. You've needed at least 33 points to win this rivalry game in each of the past six seasons, and the scores from the past two meetings, 38-28 Tulane in 2022 and 33-28 Memphis is 2021, sounds right about where this game ends up more often than not. Take the over. Next we have Fresno State vs Utah State. Fresno State recently dropped out of the top 25 after their 14-game winning streak came to an end in the last match. There's uncertainty surrounding their starting quarterback, but they possess a reliable backup with substantial experience. Utah State, on the other hand, is on a two-game winning streak, but the combined wins of the teams they defeated amount to only three. While the Bulldogs lack the same balance as the Aggies, their defense is superior. Despite the potential use of a backup quarterback, Fresno State is expected to have a strong offensive performance. Although Utah State may offer resistance at home, the Bulldogs are the favorite choice to secure a victory and cover the minus 7 spread. Choose Fresno State with a minus 7 spread. Utah State's recent 5 games have also passed the over, and that's the direction I'm leaning for this matchup. Both teams have demonstrated scoring capabilities, with the Aggies amassing 82 points in their last 2 games. Employing a well-rounded offensive strategy, Utah State is expected to perform effectively, even against Fresno State's robust defense. Although the Bulldogs might have uncertainty at the quarterback position, whether it's their starter or backup, they are likely to achieve a substantial score against a Utah State defense allowing an average of 32.2 points per game. Anticipating a high-scoring affair in this Mountain West Conference game, I'm picking the over at 57.5 points. Next we have Stanford vs. Colorado Stanford's ATS performance has been dismal, posting a record of 4-13-0 since the beginning of last season. This consistent underperformance, as reflected in their ATS record, highlights their ongoing challenges in meeting spread expectations. Despite potential opportunities for improvement, there's been a lack of significant progress. Considering Colorado's formidable offense, led by Shadir Sanders and his teammates, it appears that Stanford's vulnerabilities can be exploited. Therefore, a double-digit spread not only seems reasonable but also advantageous for those seeking to benefit from Stanford's persistent ATS struggles. 
the Colorado Buffaloes were dancing after their first Pac-12 win of the season against Arizona State. Following consecutive losses to Oregon and USC, Coach Prime and his team were hungry for redemption. It was Alejandro Mata's clutch 43-yard field goal, executed with just 12 seconds remaining, that sealed the deal, granting Colorado a hard-fought 27-24 victory. QB Shadir Sanders and his offensive unit had struggled earlier in the game, especially in their attempts to go downfield. Sanders completed 26 of his 42 passes for 239 yards and a touchdown, but he averaged less than 6 yards per attempt as the Arizona State defense effectively stifled Colorado's passing game. The Buffaloes also grappled with a stubborn Arizona State run defense, managing just 56 yards on the ground when factoring in sacks and other rushing attempts, despite Anthony Hanker's 58-yard performance on 10 carries. In the wake of their win, Coach Sanders was candidly critical of his team's performance, lamenting what he perceived as inconsistent effort and costly mistakes. We played like hot garbage, and I'm trying to figure this out. I'm sick of it. I really am, Sanders expressed with frustration. I'm happy with the win, but I'm not happy with the fashion we won in. We're better than that. We really are better than that, and we've got to start showing that. I expect to win, and I expect to win in a better fashion than that. I'm sick of these consistent holes that we're displaying and the penalties. We're so much better. Coach Prime's candid assessment reflects his high expectations for the team and his commitment to improving their performance moving forward as they face 1-4 Stanford on Friday night. Stanford's turbulent 1-4 start to the season has left fans and the coaching staff searching for answers. The latest blow came in a lopsided 42-6 defeat at the hands of No. 9 Oregon, where the Ducks quarterback Bo Nix orchestrated a relentless offensive onslaught, throwing touchdown passes on the first four drives of the second half. Head coach Troy Taylor acknowledged the explosive nature of Oregon's offense, stating, they're explosive, obviously. Our defense did a really good job in the first half. You put an explosive offense on the field that much, they will make plays. Stanford did manage to play a game of keep away early on, taking a 6-0 lead with a pair of field goals by Joshua Cardi. They also held Oregon to three and outs on the first two drives, showing flashes of defensive resilience. However, their early lead was short-lived as the Ducks mounted back-to-back -to -back touchdown drives, highlighted by impressive runs from Jordan James and Bucky Irving. Troy Taylor's inaugural season on the farm has been marked by adversity, with the Cardinal enduring a four-game losing streak following an opening win at Hawaii. This slump has further compounded Stanford's struggles in conference play, as they've now lost seven straight and an astounding 17 of their last 18 conference games. The road ahead doesn't get any easier, as they prepare to face Colorado's potent offense, spearheaded by quarterback Shadir Sanders. The Cardinal defense allows 34.6 PPG and have only forced two turnovers this season, both of which were interceptions, not a good recipe for facing a high-powered Buffaloes team. Stanford finds themselves at a critical juncture, desperately seeking a turnaround to salvage their season in the face of daunting challenges. In Stanford's games this season, the under has hit an impressive four out of five times. This consistent trend suggests that Stanford has been involved in lower scoring contests, which aligns well with the total set at 59.5. It reflects a pattern of gameplay that leans toward defensive battles and lower scoring affairs. Given this track record, it's a strong indication that the upcoming game is likely to follow suit, making the under 59.5 an attractive option for those seeking a bet with a high probability of hitting. Our total pick is under 59.5 points.